Another useful feature of Final Cut Pro and Final Cut Express is the ability to find match frames. Now, it's a common misconception with novice editors that when capturing things, that you have to capture each clip individually, especially when capturing different things, um, uh, you know, different types of things, because they think that if you capture all your shots as one, and basically I'm going to simulate that, say I, I shot um, five different things all outdoors, and I'm going to be cutting them up and using them differently, I simulated that by using a pre-edited live-to-tape uh, television show here, where there's different shots, and I want to separate them. It's kind of misconception that you have to capture them all individually because you'll have problems with time code. Well, that's not true because right here you can see that I have all these different shots and they're all pre-edited together just like that. And now maybe I go back up to my bin and I take that clip and I find something else I want. Here's a, a PSA, put an in point, okay, and we put an out point and we put it in here. Now problem is if you double click on this it shows right there if you double click on this now it's going to show you over here but if you see those little bumps in there that's because you're not actually going to the source video which has the in and outs of the last time you used it you're going to this individual thing so if then if you go and find something here or you want something there you go to hit in oh now you screwed yourself up an easy way to alleviate that is by just going right here into the timeline, finding that point that you want to go to in your source footage, like right there, and you hit F. That finds the match frame in the original source footage, and now you can go here, you can put an in point, you can put an out point, and you're not messing with your footage down here. And now you've just saved time because you didn't have to individually capture everything. You're using that one uh, piece of the entire clip that you captured all at once. You didn't have to capture all these clips individually. And remember, for a talk show, you would, or any show that was pre edited to tape, like a football game, I just did one of those a week ago. You'd never want to capture them all individually anyway, but I'm using this to simulate if you were to have, you know, 10 different things on the same reel and you all want to use them in the same project. It's very easy to do this. It's called match frame and all you have to do is hit F and you find the match frame and you can also take it and if you double click on it and you find something right there, you hit F, it finds the match frame in the timeline. It's a very, very simple tool, and it's one of the features that makes Final Cut Pro 7 a step ahead of the rest.